This isn't your usual Windows test. Today on HT, we're pushing the latest Tiny11 25H2 Lite to its limits to see if it really is the fastest Windows build ever, or just hype. Today, we'll compare Tiny11 Lite with both stock Windows 11 and Tiny11 side by side. We'll start with the number of pre-installed apps in Tiny11 Lite, then we'll check the RAM usage in idle state. Next, we'll test CPU usage and analyze the background process count, thread count, and handles count. After that, we'll compare the total disk usage. Then we'll measure how fast each one boots. We'll run a full Geekbench 6 test, both single and multi-core. And finally, we'll do the 256 megabyte RAM test to take Tiny11 Lite to its absolute limits. So let's get started. Tiny11 Lite comes with absolutely no pre-installed apps, no bloatware, no store, no updates, no Defender, nothing unnecessary. It's built for pure performance. If you want those features included, check out the standard Tiny11 instead. Links in pinned comment. We've already compared Windows 11 and Tiny11 25 H2v9 in a previous video. So we'll reuse those benchmark results to save your time. The link to that video is in the description for reference. In this test, Tiny11 Lite uses only 900 megabytes of RAM at idle, while regular Windows 11 sits at 2.3 gigabytes and standard Tiny11 at 1.3 gigabytes. If you want your PC to stay consistently fast with low memory usage, try Velotic. It delivers the same performance boost without reinstalling Windows. Velotic isn't a cleaner, it's a system overhaul. It raises FPS, cuts lag, and keeps your PC running like it's brand new, every single day. CPU and GPU are tuned automatically. Junk files are deleted before you even notice. Hidden slowdowns? Gone in real time. You get over 500 pro-level tweaks one-click Windows debloat, instant app installs, and smart power management that adapts to how you work or play. It even compresses data safely to free up 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick fix. It's the same technology used by power users and studios to keep systems fast and reliable. Built over three years, tested by thousands, and refined with every update. $19.99 once, Lifetime speed, zero effort, Velotic. Built for performance users who refuse slow. Previously, we saw these numbers. Windows 11 had 147 processes, 1,975 threads, and 59,500 handles. Tiny 11 dropped that to 110 processes, 1,080 threads, and 41,800 handles. Now, Tiny 11 Lite takes it even further, just 86 processes, 763 threads, and 29,800 handles. That's the absolute minimum Windows can run on before apps start crashing. Disk usage has gone from a massive 35 gigabytes on standard Windows to just 7.6 gigabytes on Tiny11. Tiny11 Lite pushes it even further, only six gigabytes after installation. That's a full Windows setup that fits on even the smallest drives, perfect for low storage systems. In our boot test, Windows 11 completed a full restart in 41 seconds, while Tiny11 brought that down to 32 seconds. Now we're testing Tiny11 Lite under the exact same conditions, a single core processor, no SSD, and no hardware tweaks. This test is shown in real time, with no speedups or cuts, so you can see exactly how fast Tiny11 Lite boots from desktop to desktop. The entire cycle takes just 24 seconds, measured live on screen. That's a huge improvement compared to the 41 seconds of regular Windows 11. Even standard Tiny11 can't match this speed. And remember, this is on a test system. If you try Tiny11 Lite on a real PC with modern hardware, you'll see full Windows booting in under 10 seconds. Now it's time for the real-world stress test using Geekbench 6. Previously, Windows 11 scored 2,137 in single core and 5,332 in multi core. Tiny 11 improved that to 2,412 single core and 6,629 multi core. We're now running the same benchmark on Tiny 11 Lite. The test footage is sped up for your convenience since the full run takes about five minutes. Throughout the test, Tiny 11 Lite remains completely stable. No crashes, no errors, proving it can handle sustained load just like a standard build. The results speak for themselves. Tiny11 Lite scores 2,495 in single core, 
and 6,736 in multi-core, outperforming both Windows 11 and Tiny 11. That concludes our benchmark comparison. And once again, Tiny 11 Lite comes out on top. As promised, we're testing Tiny 11 in extreme conditions, running it on only 256 megabytes of RAM, which is less than what many computers ran on in the 1990s. This is part of our release standard. If a build can't start on 256 megabytes, it fails the HT and a PIDAS quality check and won't be released. Here, it boots flawlessly. Don't expect blazing speed at this memory level, but it clearly shows just how lightweight and optimized Tiny 11 really is. I'll open Task Manager so you can see the actual RAM usage in real time, keeping the promise we made. Tiny 11 Lite is a premium product for people who want top performance, privacy, and reliability. No lag, no clutter, long-lasting performance. Never install free and unofficial Tin Tiny 11 builds from anywhere else. Many of them contain malware or keyloggers. Those threats can capture passwords, banking details, and credit card information. Using unofficial builds puts your data and money at risk. If you want true safety and speed, get the premium build. The pinned comment has the clean install link. If you prefer not to reinstall, you can get similar results with Velotic. Open Velotic. Go to the Debload page and click Play. The process runs automatically. Your files stay intact and features stay working. Full guide in the description. Thanks for watching. This is the Harbor of Tech sailing off.